Hi guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I wanted to come on live and kind of show you where I'm headed with this layout for Stitch It Sunday, um, because I'm going to do a lot of the, the beginning work off screen so that you guys, because you guys don't want to watch me do all of this hand stitching. <coughs> I apologize, I have a cold. Okay, so the photo I'm working with today is this photo of my son from behind with his fidget spinner, and so this is something he kind of went through a stage where he was really, really into these, these fidget spinners. And I'm working with a sketch that Laura Rumble designed for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club for our weekend um, scrap party for December. And so it calls for two different triangles. And her triangles are moved in further, but I'm going to extend mine out to the edges of the page. So I've taken just some scrap paper and cut basically what I want the triangles to look like. And then I took this one and I have already cut it into pieces. So as I'm going, I'm just basically taking, I know I want my full triangle to look like this. So I'm just randomly creating triangles and other shapes. They're not all triangles. And then I cut a little slice off of the edge before I start my next triangle. And then I cut a little slice off again before I start my next triangle. And the reason that I'm doing that is because then I can piece this triangle back together but still have left um, some space in between my triangles. And so right now I have this on a black background so that I can show you how that all looks as you go. But basically it's going to end up being on a white background and I'm going to use these pieces as a stitching template. So rather than having these little white cardstock pieces, I'm going to use this to give me places to stitch. So basically I'm going to take my piercing tool and pierce holes in the shapes of all of these triangles. And then I'm going to come in with my hand stitching and stitch all of them in different colors. So we're kind of going with like uh, some good boy colors. So we've got some blues, we've got a little bit of lime green showing. Um, we're going to throw in some burnt red, that type of thing. So a very like boy color centered layout with all of this stitching. So I'm going to finish that up and get that part done off screen. And then I will be back to show you, put you on fast forward and show you how the rest of the layout comes together. Okay, so I am back and through the magic of YouTube have all of that stitching done. So I picked a bunch of colors from the Cool Kid, um, not Cool Kid, from the U Rock collection from Coco Vanilla. And that's where I'm also pulling my embellishments from. So when I create a layout like this where I have a lot of hand stitching, the hand stitching kind of takes center stage with my photo. So my photo and my stitching are going to be the main elements, which means I'm basically just going to do a few fun little additions. So I'm not going to over embellish. So I found this multicolored star border strip that came in the paper part of this collection. And I decided I wanted to fill in a few of these triangles with that pattern paper. So I'm just cutting triangles to fit. And I'm going to choose four different triangles kind of scattered throughout my layout that are going to get filled with that pattern paper. And so I'm just kind of moving things aside to get that part in. And I'm just making sure that it fits in there close to the inside edge of the stitching. And I'm not really concerned about it being perfect. I'm okay with it being a little bit off or not being quite right. And, and that's okay with me. That top one I've fought with for a while, so I ended up finishing that up off screen. And then I went ahead and took my photo and backed it with some white cardstock, as well as a little border strip of kind of a diagonal pattern. And then that's going to go in that top right-hand corner, just like it did in the sketch. And I'm going to grab this little half a frame and a couple pieces of ephemera, a little flare badge that says you rock, and kind of create a little cluster up there. And then I am also going to make sure that I have, um, kind of following my rule of threes, I'm going to have three clusters. So the title and an embellishment cluster is going to go down here in the bottom left, just like it did in the sketch. And I'm going to use two different kinds of gray thickers. These bigger thickers are just going to say the word spin. And then I'm going to come in with a smaller font and add the words let's go on top. So my whole title is going to say let's go spin. And it's going to kind of be tucked um, around my triangles and underneath that little piece from the ephemera pack that I wanted to make sure that I got onto this layout. And so I'm just making sure that I have those letters kind of spaced the way I want them to be. And then I'm going to grab the enamel dots. And I have been using a lot of these this weekend. I've created a couple of different projects over in the Secret Not Secret Kit Club this weekend 
with this particular collection. And so I've been kind of flying through those enamel dots. Um, so I'm down to where I'm using some of the plus signs. And so I've just kind of grouped those in my two embellishment clusters that I have so far. And then I went back to the ephemera pack and looked for some things that I could put in this bottom right hand corner. So that's going to create that third cluster that gives me that visual triangle on my layout. And so I'm just grabbing a couple of stars. And these are actually some stars that I fussy cut from some pattern paper. Um, I did a project and you can check it out if you want to. I believe I put it on my Instagram um, for our scrap party this weekend with those particular stars. And so I had a couple left over. So those are going to go in that corner. And then I put one up in the top corner of the photo as well. And then I'm just looking for some phrase stickers. And then I'm going to add some of those enamel dots to this cluster as well. But really, I'm not going to add a whole lot. Just because, like I said, when I do um, a lot of hand stitching in the background like this, I kind of let that be my, like, secondary character. My, my big part of the show behind my star, which is the photo. So my photo is always the star, the number one, like leading act right there. And then how I design the rest of my page kind of goes along with that. So if I'm doing a lot of stitching, I really want to let that kind of stand out and be be part of the design element on my own, on its own. Um, so I hope you enjoyed seeing how I took just some simple scrap paper and turned it into my own sort of cut file template to create some hand stitching. Uh, Make sure you do check out Kira's channel for her Stitch It Sunday, and I will be back to see you again soon. Bye!